I gave a Tunnel 11 this ultimate challenge. Plan my serial attacks from Tunnel 12 through 16, and I will perform the hit in my clan war league we've got a subscriber here who is right at legends league at 5,000 trophies on his town 11 and this is his highest town hall so let's see his plans for my attacks in the cbl so you're town 11 am i right that is correct this town hall right here town hall 11 is your highest account right this is okay so this is your highest account you don't have any other uh higher account than town 11 so you don't have any experience playing at the higher town halls. And I would be very curious to see if you could plan my attacks for the higher town halls with someone has zero experience and then you would tell me the strategy and we could plan it out to see if we could get it done. You think you can uh, think you can do that? I can do that. Right. Town hall 12, um, I think I called, okay, so I called one just to help you out, to make sure I call at least the town hall 12. All these are mismatches yeah. versus 13. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a chance here against this town hall 12. So what are you going to plan? I only really use E-drags, but I don't really think that's a problem at town hall 12. What I've learned so far is I don't really want the queen and the E-drags walking too close together because the okay. queen will end up killing buildings that the eager drags are charging on and that's just wasting damage have you ever used a flame flinger i have not used a flame flinger you've I never use used almost flame exclusively the stone slammer and okay. on occasions i use the log launcher you want me to drop a giant arrow through the base with the queen we can drop some healers onto her right through here then we'll have mm -hmm. The king move in with her as well. Drop a wall break to kind of bust through here like that. And the flame flinger is going to be actually placed at the very start. The flame flinger will yep. go through here. And then the e-dragons will come down through here with the grand warden. I'm going to go and drop the flame flinger at the top to start. Let's see. Queen, arrow. Let's see if we can get the sweepers. Queen, arrow, sweepers down. Okay. Drop a balloon. Let's wall break you. And the king there as well. Drop a balloon E dragon down here. E dragons, warden, bat spell, bat spell out in front. Go and, oh, I don't know why I froze that. Didn't really need to. Uh, headhunter for this queen. Okay. These E dragons should make their way through that town hall. Pop that ability. I have another bat spell. Maybe just drop it there. Let's see if we freeze it. Oh, that was a sticky. That sticky air might hit that E dragon. Okay. Look at that. See the flame flinger's still going. That's the power yeah. of the flame flinger. Let's see, E dragon. Get raged up. Get that chains. Get that chains. Yeah, that one's gonna look good. There we go. There you go. There you go. I mean, you know, that was, uh, that's, you know, don't have all the E-Dragons up, but it's fine. Look at that queen. The arrow yeah, hit the sweepers. And we're good. There we go. Indeed. See, you just got your first 12v12 triple, and you weren't attacking through your plan. GG. I mean, I mean, almost anything could have probably taken this one down with no clan castle. But all right. First one is a triple here. Now we're going to try to plan a Tunnel 13 attack. You ready? The 12 was scarier than I thought, <laughs> so let's see how this goes. So I can already tell you this is not an E-Dragon friendly base just okay. by looking at it. So considering there's so many um, single target Infernos, mm -hmm. I'm inclined to use a Log Launcher with Golems and Witches here. Actually, hang on. I've, mm -hmm. Scratch this. Scratch I've got the an idea. Oh, you got an idea. All right, what's your, what's your idea? Yeah. Scratch that. All right. What's Yeti Bowler, Yeti Apprentice bowlers. Warden. The way I'm looking at this base, I want to sweep it from like the bottom right wall of this base. Does the Flame Flinger outrange a scatter shot? It does, yes. Okay. okay flame and then we'll here. come in from like the bottom left okay. wall of the base. So King will be here. To... And then we can get the Bowler Yeti Smash to move through here. Yes. Okay. And then what? We want a jump spell right here to give access into the middle? Yeah. Okay. That is... I think that's the idea. So let's start off with a flame flinger to the far right. Okay. Now, I would say a yeti could be a nice funneling point. 
Um, but we do want to probably be patient a little bit here. Um, Got to let that flame flinger get that value over there. Because nowadays we have time. We have time. Because with these hero abilities, they're so much stronger. Now we'll drop a Yeti. We'll drop a King down here. We'll drop uh, maybe a Yeti over there. Yeah. All right. I've also realized a half issue. Mm -hmm. The... Um, we're probably going to want to pull the CC before the Flame fl I don't think the Flame Flinger will get close enough to do it, mm -hmm. but we definitely don't want the CC to get pulled by the Flinger. I see. So we'll pop this. Okay, oh, the Yeti got the Flame Flinger hit here. Alright, so we're pushing our way in. We freeze this. Drop a Rage. Oh, back in Bowler. Oh, Super Archer's coming out of here. Freeze this. Go another Rage. Bowler's into the core. Yo, look at the Super Archers. They're going to do some work over there. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe mm -hmm. we drop the RC over... We'll wait. We'll wait here. Taking out that Town Hall. Okay, look at these Super Archers. They're going to reach mm -hmm. that single. Okay, mm -hmm. go Super Archers, go. They're going to snipe the mm -hmm. single. Okay. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don't doubt the Super I'm Archer. Don't doubt the Super Archers here. We got some wall breaks over here. We got the Royal Champ tank, and we got an extra rage, and this is Crush. That's easy, GG's with an RC ability. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Those Super Archers actually kind of clutched up, grabbing that single. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Very nice. All right, I'll take it. Let's pop the RC ability. That's the Seeking Shield uh, skips across. And who needs that rage, rage spell? There we go. Okay, two for two here. Hit I the like clan it. castle with it. All right, hit, hit the, the clan, clan castle. castle with I did. It. Yeah. I did. And it's a trip. <laughs> GG. Well done. Yeah, I, I'm I'm getting used to thinking on okay. on new new things here. So I think I don't know what new stuff there is. So this will be. Interesting. Oh, you have no idea what's at Tau 14 at all here. Okay. No, I, I don't even fight 14s. You don't even so fight don't... 14s. We have 14, 15, and 16 to go. And here it is. We're gonna hit JRC this Town Hall 14. And all right, here is the base. What is the plan that you're thinking? So what I'm I'm looking at right now is there's a lot of buildings on the outside okay and the core buildings fairly close together thinking this one might be a super archer blimp i'm not entirely sure how much damage that does mm -hmm. or really what my follow-up is to it other than i looking at the base it looks like that would, that would do the value. most okay gutting we could probably do like hogs and miners with the healing tome into the other scatter shot uh how many hogs how many miners are we looking for um, um that's a great question mm -hmm. don't know how devastating they are at this level i just mm -hmm. i've seen them used together on my base so i figured okay. they might be a good idea here we will go with a Lava Hound right here and a Blimp behind. We're going to land the Blimp, double clone, Invis Rage, and get all of this down right through here. And then what we're also going to do is let that get some value. We can then drop uh, Queen and her, some healers over here. She's going to go like this with the King's assistance, make their way up there. And then the hybrid will move its way through the base with a Warden ability through here. Moving like that while the heroes make their way all the way up and around the base like so. And then the hybrid makes its way through the town hall and potentially tries to make its way back. We're in. Okay. So, we'll go with the Hound. Hound, Blimp from behind. Okay, we got Super Minions in here, which is good. Invis, Rage, Boom. Double Clone. Another... Oh, we found a Spring Trap through here. Okay. Again, that value. We can take out the CC. Okay, let's take out that single, hopefully. Super minions are over here. Single goes down. All right. Queen. Healers. Got a poison. We probably don't need to drop it there. Or maybe. Let's see. Queen's still going. 
All right. Let's drop you, Warden. Let's try to get the miners to go up to the top side. Come on, miners, make your way up. All right, Royal Champ, Hogs, more miners, Druid. We'll drop a delayed Druid. King's running around. Okay, we don't need to pop the Warden Eternal Tome just yet. Another Druid here, maybe. Continuing through. Warden is saying adios. Let's go poison oh, that. Warden. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Back. We can try to bring it back. Pop that ability for the hogs here. Single locked onto the RC. Pop her. Oh, yeah. We have the hog puppet here. We got Archer Tower to the bottom side. King will go up and around. Let's drop a wizard here. Oh, King comes back. Okay, Queen's around there. Let's try to take out the Town Hall. That goes down. The single's gonna be the problem. It can reach. All right, there we go. All right, Warden's getting hit by the single. Anything else around here? Queen, where are you going? Oh, Queen's going in. Okay, that's good. Queen getting that. Drop a wizard behind. Can this work? Come on, miners. You're looking good. Queen and her ability. Pop it now is the oh it was the giant arrow. Okay, there it is. I think we're fine. Yeah, it's King. Good. Oh wait, unless oh wait, no, a few miners there. Miners making their way through. Drop an archer. And look at that! It works! Okay. No fear. No fear! None. It gets it done! The Sarch into the hybrid with no heals! The believers! Well done! GG! You're going three for three so far! What I'm going to do for this one, are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to increase the stakes a little bit since you are, you've okay. gone three for three. I yes. am going to provide no feedback of what to take, what spells, what pets. It's going to be 100% your army here. You will pick the pets, you will pick the spells, you'll pick the troops, the hero equipment, and we'll go from there. And it's going to be your army fully, and I'm not going to provide even any suggestions, okay? Trying to figure out how to do is how to fireball the single. I don't know if fireball quaking the town hall kills it. Okay. Or or what amount of quakes I need to kill it. I can get the fireball to that single. Okay, so you want to get the fireball to the single target, okay? Yeah. Got it. It should erase some some hero issues because mm -hmm. for whatever reason they've stacked the queen on top of it so how many how many quakes do you think you want to take three so if the the town hall isn't woken up the fireball won't go to that one will it i'm not sure that's okay. your call then guys this is wake so hard not that that intervening and telling him <laughs> so the oh. uh -huh. is we can use the warden itself to kill the mortar and not worry about it mm -hmm. and then the envish i think can hit the three in the cluster by itself okay so you want to you want to and then that okay and you want to warden walk that okay single will die so we're dealing with two multis a scatter shot mm -hmm. or two scatter shots and a, did we get any new troops we're working with or am i just thinking uh mm -hmm. rue rider there i would probably take put like 12 root riders in there Okay, 12 root riders. Okay. Um, that might be too many. Let's take take one out and then we'll work with 100 space. Okay. The, we'll put two druids in. Two druids, got it. The last bit of space here, mm -hmm. I would probably, we're actually going to put an apprentice warden in there. Handful of Valks in there. We're gonna need some healing. So I think. Okay two heals is probably the play okay and then we don't need a poison so we got three invis three earthquake two heal and one freeze now let's take a look at our heroes what abilities do we want i don't know the difference between the purple and the yellow vial on the uh champion all right so these are the abilities you want to go with okay. yeah 
Now let's take a look at the pet selection here. Well, I don't really know what most of them do now that I think about it. Okay. I think the, the king we want the owl on because I think that the owl, does like okay. the... Oh, wait, hang on. No, we want the phoenix on the king. We want the phoenix Because I think I've seen a video where they get back up with it, so I'm okay. going to do that. The uh, Let's put the yak on the queen. Yak on the queen. we've got the frost arrow. Okay. Warden's fine. He's going to keep the unicorn. Okay, he'll keep the unicorn. What about the queen? Or the RC? Don't know the difference between the remaining ones, so I'm just going to trust that this one was selected and we're going to send it. Okay, so you, I mean, this is actually our previous attack, so... We haven't used the owl yet. Yeah, let's put the owl on there. Put the owl on the royal champ. Holy um, jeez, guys! I muted Land myself! Castle. What is happening? We're going to go with the warden mm. down here to take that, make this invis, make this invis, make this invis. Warden fireball, hit this. Uh, earthquake three times through here. Then Root Riders will come down here with a Siege Barracks down to the bottom side. Root Riders through here. And then you want my King and Queen to move up to the top side. Save one Root Riders potentially if the Town Hall doesn't go down. So it opens up the wall for the Queen to step in. But if not, yeah. they continue and then send the Royal Champion at the very end somewhere else. This is what you're giving me. And this is what I gotta do. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's go with the warden right here. Warden. Okay, warden. Let's see if we can get you. Invis. Invis, invis. Let's see. One earthquake. Okay, that all went down. All right. Let's drop a siege barracks here. Druid. Four root riders. All right. Oh, I dropped all of them. Oh, king, queen, ice golem. Okay, Got it's it. fine. It's Got fine. It. It's fine. Just dropping a apprentice warden over here, probably. Oh, king's going for the wall anyway, so he's fine. Earthquake that. Maybe heal this. A couple of elks can go backside here. Let's move our way through. Obviously, this doesn't have a spell tower. This doesn't have. Uh, a monolith. So it definitely is in our favor that way. The Root Riders will be able to help overpower, right? The power yep, of the I Root believe. Riders. Just believe! I do believe. You do believe. Pop that King ability. Yeah. I don't think I even need the Royal Champ. Let's make our way through. Pushing our way around. We'll just Earthquake this backside. Pushing through. Look at those Root Riders. It's not even fair. The Root Riders are too so the, strong. <laughs> this is what the Root Riders feel like. This Understood. is what the Root Riders feel like. Indeed. Now you know how it is. You can come in yeah. with almost anything with Root Riders here. Look at that. Yeah. Pop Queen ability. Uh, what was that? Frozen Air, Invisibility. Who needs an RC? Who needs a yep. heal? A freeze and another freeze. And it's an overwhelming triple. There you go. Look at that. Crushing it. Rushed 15, no model, no spell towers. Okay. You know, for how crazy of a plan it was, it worked. It got the triple. But now, Oski, the hardest one yet. Mm -hmm. Town Hall 16, are you ready? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. Let's see what we got. Because I'm, I'm looking at this one mm -hmm. solely because it looks like there's a lot of concentrated defense in like that left small compartment. I'm thinking this one is just going to be a wave of dragons from, like, the south, um, southwest wall. Okay, so you want to um, do a wave of dragons from here and go in? Uh, I want to funnel oh, them a little it's bit. it's big attack. Oh, I, no! guess, I guess we can't I hit this. No! <laughs> oh. oh, we should have called it. It'll yeah. be fine. All right, it's a three. Okay, he tripled it. So now we got to pick another right. one. So the... First things I'm immediately looking at here uh -huh. is both sweepers are looking down. It's it's one of those bases where it wants to bait you to go to the eagle, but it's mm. actually not the best idea. I, I was thinking about ripping a giant arrow top to bottom to get rid of both spell towers. Ah, okay. And then it, e we're, yeah, we're going to walk the queen from the bottom. Because if we have a, a quake boots qu king here mm -hmm. and put him, it'll be under where the blue is, but it... Okay. There's like a, a compartment. So you want to use the earthquake boots with the, the king over is. here? Oh, right here. Well, actually... So you, you want to send the queen and king together into here with the earthquake boots. 
So we're going to push our king and queen into here. And then what would be the main rest of the army after that? I still want to do dragons. They want to do dragons. So it'll be okay. top right edge in. Top right. And just kind of over here. sandwich the base. Do so you want to send Or RC maybe not the here. line that's left. But like the, the triangle. Yeah. Right where you drew that blue. I, okay. The, I'm going to try to use the RC to clear that out. Stone slammer on like the far west corner. Over because here. Because when the king and queen. Yeah. When the okay. king and queen get in there, I don't know if they'll be able to reach all the way over to the the scatter shot and the mm -hmm. the air defense there. The plan is as follows. We're going to drop the queen down here with the arrow through the base. Double earthquake uh, and then three lighting spells. The poison spell tower, monolith, and invis invisibility spell tower both should go down. And then the queen will hopefully make her way to the left side with a baby dragon to funnel. Queen will go here, potentially. Now the king with the angry jelly will go here. We'll wall break this wall. He'll go in, pop the earthquake boots to then help take this out. Spiky ball skip across, take this down. And then the queen will probably end up making her way back around. Have to then use the uh, like headhunter on the king, most likely. Maybe wall break the queen down here to grab the eagle if the king can't do that. Um, and then you want to send the root rot or not the root riders, the royal champ, not the royal champ, the dragons over to this side towards the town hall with the grand warden. Then wait yep. to the end with a stone slammer into this archer tower over here. And then the royal champ can be deployed really anywhere, but maybe the royal champ deployed over here could be very useful. We'll see, I guess. But that's the plan. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's see if your plan can help get that perfect day for me. Whew. Let's go. All right. We are in. All right. So we got the queen with her arrow. And then we're going to go earthquake, earthquake, boom, boom, and lightning. Got to be quick with it. Okay. Let's see. Queen. And then zoom. Okay. Queen, arrow, uh, boom, boom. Oh, the point. Okay, perfect. It went down. Sweet. All right. Headhunter, nice. baby dragon. All right, king, wall break. Maybe wall break this. King's spiky ball there. Nice. Oh, queen's going that way. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do that. Wall break you. Baby dragon. Okay, switch this up to a stone slammer. Queen's going to get some nice value. Tessa pops there. I'm going to send in the RC over here all right keep going keep going rc and now balloons dragons dragon riders warden rage up the queen looks like the queen will die off pop the warden ability back end stone slammer will be utilized we got a heal spell keep going into the core. Let's go and heal the core. Heal the core. Maybe for the dragons here. Stone slammer now. So we can potentially tank. Can this work? Wait a second. Hold on. Stone slammer on the backside. Wait. It's going to open. Takes out that air defense. We have a handful of dragons. I think your plan might work. Look at it go. <laughs> hey. hey, look at that. What in the world? What a plan. The queen charging through. Dragon's still alive. And I was a little nervous on this one. I'm not going to lie, but this base was dissected. Look at you go. Perfect. There's a town hall 11 coming in with some plans. Okay. Nice job. All righty. I'm impressed. Well done, Husky. Well done for not being only being max town hall 11 and going perfect for the all these town halls. GG, I'm not my friend. Even max town hall eleven. I know that's true. You're also not max town eleven, but hey, for being your highest town hall is eleven. But yeah. hey, either way, well done.